Okay, so in this video I'm going to do experimental probability. Now that's finding probability or the probability of something happening by performing an experiment. Now, you've already seen this experiment before. Here's my experiment. It's a number of discs, yellow, white, blue and red. And I want to know what the probability is of pulling out a blue disc or pulling out a yellow disc or pulling out a white disc or pulling out a red disc because the probabilities I think aren't even. I don't think there's the same number of blue discs as white discs, as yellow discs, as red discs. So I'm going to, rather than count them, because let's imagine that this is a closed box and you can't see it, um, I'm going to perform an experiment. And hopefully using that experiment we can get a good idea of what the probability of these things happening is. Okay, so an experiment is just a number of trials. And I'm going to record each of these in a uh, relative frequency table. Okay, here's my relative frequency table. The first thing I pulled out was white, so that's one tally mark for white. All right, I'm just going to go into fast forward here and let's do an experiment. Okay, that's probably enough experiment. Um, so you can see here, I know I've got a weird tally system, but believe me, lots of people do this across the world. 5, 10, uh, 11, 12, 13. 13 white ones, 5 red ones, 7 blue ones, and 9 yellow ones. All right, that means I did a total of um, 25, 30, Four trials. Thirty-four trials total. Now, this is where the, it gets really important. What is the probability that when I reach into here next, I pull out, say, a red one? Because obviously, red. It seems like there's not many red ones in there, and I want to know what's the probability of pulling out a red one. So let's use our experimental probability. Formula. Okay, this is our experimental probability formula. Experimental probability equals the number of event. Now remember, event is a uh, favorable outcome. So the number of times the favorable outcome happens divided by the number of trials, the amount of times we did our, our experiment, our trials. Okay, so the probability of pulling out, in this case, a red disc is equal to the number of times, the number of the event, the number of times that event happened. So in this case, we pulled out the five red ones and we divide that by the number of trials that we did. In this case, 34. Okay, so a couple of different ways we can do this here. We can say just the probability of pulling out a red disc is 5 in 34. We can also express it as a decimal. I'm going to use my calculator. Okay, so 0 0.1471. I'm going to leave it at four decimal places. You can see that I did my rounding there on the fourth decimal place. We can also express it as a percentage. So 14.71%. All of those answers are the same answer. They're just different ways of showing the same answer. The probability is 5 in 34. The probability is 0 0.1471. And probably the way that you're most used to seeing probabilities, the probability is 14.71%. There is a 14.71% chance that when I reach in here, I'll pull out a red disc. No. Okay, obviously the probability is not very high. So, experimental probability, a relative frequency table, which is what I've created here, and then an experimental probability formula, which is how I calculated my experimental probability. Alright, lots in this little video here. This is experimental probability.